Alright guys, so in this video I'd like to take a few minutes to talk about my biggest vegan pet peeve, which is um, people find out that I'm vegan in casual conversation or whatever, and they say, wow, how, how long have you been vegan? So that's part one, and then I tell them, you know, whatever the, an the answer is at, at that time, however long it's been, and then um, and they say, wow, that's great, I could never do that. So that's part two. So um, the reason I hate these <laughs> two things being said, at least to me, number one, uh, when people ask, you know, how long have you been vegan, um, it already shows me that um, all, all they're kind of thinking about is basically a way to congratulate, we, congratulate me, which I actually don't like at all um, when it comes to veganism because Veganism is not about me, and it's not about any human, really. Um, even though veganism is extremely beneficial for the human body, and it's probably the most, you know, it's it's an optimal diet for the human body, be that as it may, it's not about just making yourself feel better for being a good person or whatever, or for doing the right thing. You know, while it's important to do the right thing, you should be doing the right thing for the right reasons and not to make yourself look better or anything like that. I'm not saying that's what I do, um, and I'm I'm also not saying I'm basically saying I don't want someone to congratulate me um, or kind of you know look for a way to try to make me feel better for some choice I made. Um, as as much as that's that's an important choice, um, I I hate the fact that someone is just interested in saying, hey, that's great. Glad you've been doing it for so long. I could never do it. You know, I don't know how you do it. Blah blah blah. Any of that stuff. Um, I hate the second part because people simply think they can't do it. You know, it's it's one thing to not be interested or to say, you know, um, it's just not my thing. Or you could basically say anything else, but but to tell me or kind of maybe any other vegan that oh, you know, um, I could never do that. It's it's very. It's kind of self-deprecating in a way. It's very self-limiting for sure um, when you say like, oh, I could never do that. Because if you think about, just think about one thing you've done in your life that you thought you could never do, like you ran a marathon or you wrote a book or you started a business or maybe it was even getting married or basically anything that at one point in your life you thought you could not do, would not do, would not want to do, anything like that. Um, it's basically until you do it, you think you can't do it. But then when you've done it, you're amazed that, oh, you know, it wasn't that hard after all. Or I was really scared and there was no reason to be. Or, um, I don't know, someone told me it was going to be crappy and I really liked it. Or whatever. It, it could be anything like that. But the point is, it's really annoying for me when someone says, how long have you been vegan? Oh, wow, that's great. I could never do it. Because first of all, yes, you can do it. Second of all, it's not as hard as you think. Third, um, you know, I th I thought it would be hard too, and it really wasn't. So basically, I, I don't like it because it's a very small-minded way to think and speak. But anyways, um, that's all I have to say on that. If you ever see me, please don't say those things. Um, I'm not going to respond rudely, but that's my biggest vegan pet peeve. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you want to check out my website for even more free content to build your business, or just uh, peruse around, check out bradleyjohnsonproductions.com. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next video.